Hey guys, it's Tony Tom Logan back with another video for you and today we're going to be taking a look at the HIS HD7750. Now it does look slightly out of place there in the bench rig because you're not likely to be using this card with a 2011 3960X uh, H100 and a Rampage 4 Extreme but it's just for the continuity for the review results, so that the test results are comparable. So I know the card is a little bit out of place in it but there's no point in me having to test all the cards again just because I want to use a lower spec card. So if we have a look at it, now uh, it is, it, do you know what I mean, it is a basic card, it is a low end card and we're going to try and base the, the conclusion for the results around this um, and the games that we'll show you will be slightly lower end as well. Uh, but anyway, uh, yes, there we have it, the 7750. Uh, Stay tuned for the conclusion because hopefully we'll be able to do something with the conclusion that will make it a little bit more. Uh, it will make a little bit more sense for you then. Uh, but let's move on and we'll go straight into looking at some benchmarks. Right then, peeps. First benchmark, 3D Mark 11. On the left-hand side, 2,728 is the 7750, and then on the right-hand side. Uh, 3,552, that's the 7770, so the two latest 7000 series cards from um, AMD, and those are the two that we will be comparing today. Moving swiftly on to 3D Mark 11X score, the 7750 scored 831, and I think that's one of the lowest results, if not the lowest result to date, for the test results that I've done. Um, but then the 7770 scores 1107 on the right hand side. Now we're going to move on swiftly and take a look at uh, 3D Mark Vantage. Right then, on to 3D Mark Vantage. Left hand side 7750, that's 12,327. On the right hand side 7770, that's 16,337. Right then, 7750 on the left, X score of 4,635. 7770 on the right, that's an X score of 6,669. But I've had enough of benchmarks for now, so what we're going to do is going to break into some gameplay, but we're going to do the uh, basic games. The games will still be maxed out and they'll still be on 24 inch resolution, but let's see how the card copes. Okay peeps, this is a game that we don't normally use in the uh, benchmarks anymore but because it's really not demanding at all um, and it's got like a 62 stroke 63 frame buffer fixed on it anyway and it's Medal of Honor but uh, I know we're using an immensely powerful CPU but this is just to show you that uh, these lower end cards with the game maxed out and 1920 by 1080 resolution can play these basic games pretty well. Um, as you can see, the temperatures aren't really getting very high. Uh, it's not really even using 100% of the uh, GPU usage um, and hardly any memory on the graphics card either. As you can see, oh, we've gone up to 99% uh, graphics usage now, but only 281 megabyte of uh, video RAM being used. Um, and frames are consistently, I think the lowest I've seen is 49. But again, this was just a quick way to show you it because not everyone's got a stupendous amount of money uh, to spend on graphics and stuff, and they might not pay, play the you know I mean most demanding games in the world. Anyway, you can see it's quite comfortable playing Medal of Honor here. So what we're going to do now is uh, go and have a look at a game that, we're, again, we've not played for quite some time, thanks to Straub's dying, and that's Call of Duty. Right then, peeps, on to Call of Duty Black Ops. 
You see at the top left hand corner that's afterburner, 57 degrees C on the card, 99% GPU usage and 39% fan speed, 876 uh, MB of video RAM being used and the frames per second are currently 77.9, well just dipped down to 60 frames per second. Uh, Call of Duty's got a frame cap of about 90 I think. Um, 91.7, it might be 100, I can't remember, but uh, yeah, it's definitely not sitting on the frame buffer or on the cap of the game all the time. Uh, when it gets, uh, there you go, you can see we've gone down to 40 odd frames a second there. Now don't forget this is uh, quite a low end game, it's not very graphically demanding at all because it's a shitty console port. Um, and yeah, I don't mind saying that out loud because let's face it, it is. Um, but it just goes to show that even these low end cards you can play these lesser demanding games. Now one thing I will say is uh, that the, the card itself is actually ridiculously quiet. It just does not get loud. Um, at all and you, as you can see the temperatures are pretty good as well but the the fan is just just doesn't seem to make any noise at all even the Noctua fans are louder than this thing the, the, the fan on it is actually very very good um, pretty sure that at some point we're going to see um, some passive versions of this Now the video uh, isn't just going to be a, about gameplay but I just wanted to give you a good segment so that you can see the frames per second and the way the card reacts and it does play fine even though the game's maxed out and we are on 1920 by 1080 although I would have thought most people that have got a uh, card this are going to be playing it on a 19 inch or a 22 inch anyway. Um, but yeah it's just a, a quick way to show you that it, it does do fairly well considering um, but anyway Considering uh, Straubs has now died, let's move on to the conclusion. Right then guys, on to the conclusion after Straubs dying twice. Yeah, terrible. Um, right, yeah, I wouldn't normally do a card this low, I'll be perfectly honest with you. It's uh, generally not something that I'd spend uh, a lot of time on. But And rather than trying to award it and stuff like that, because this really isn't kind of the area of the market I'm at, we'll try and you know, talk about the things that the card would be good for. I can see that this is going to end up in a lot of kind of OEM style systems. So maybe the type of stuff that you're going to end up finding at computer shops, uh, lower end rigs, people on a budget, maybe something that you're you know, making a really basic gaming system for your your son or your daughter or something like that um, and you know what I mean you're buying new parts and it does work pretty well it is really quiet it doesn't get hot at all it doesn't get noisy which is a really nice thing um, so it does kind of tick everything tick all the right boxes um, obviously the performance isn't going to be amazing or anything like that but you know at the end of the day you wouldn't really expect it to be this I'd probably say this is probably more at home in something like a HT PC to be perfectly honest with you. Um, obviously it does support the 4K by 2K resolution so when those monstrous resolution tellies do finally hit the, uh, the shops and stuff. But again I don't think you're probably going to be running a card like this if you are going to be running a, that kind of telly. Um, the games for the lower end games it's not going to be too bad but again it's not going to set your world alight because it wasn't even maxing Call of Duty out and we were seeing dips on Call of Duty down to sort of like 40 frames a second so you can see that the, the, the power is not really there but then we were running the game maxed out and we were running it on a 24 inch screen but then again that's HD kind of quality screen anyway. Um, I have to admit with a card like this if you're thinking about buying this as a new card for a gaming rig I would honestly say to anyone that's out there that you are probably better off spending the same amount of money buying a used card that would be my own personal advice to you but if you're buying new bits and you, do you know what I mean you want to buy new bits maybe you're making yourself a like a HTPC or something like that then this could be perfectly you know good for you 
but if you're building a gaming rig and you're going to be spending this sort of money anyway i mean i'm not telling you to go and buy a different brand maybe you should buy a uh you could get a his 6850 or a 6870 for the same sort of money as this um, and to be perfectly honest with you, you would be much better off spending the same amount of money on something slightly older um, and maybe even going used as well. Now, that's not something a lot of reviewers are going to tell you. It's definitely not something HIS are going to be particularly pleased at me saying about. But with a card like this, I just don't, it's not a gaming card in my eyes. And like I said, if you're building a gaming rig, you would honestly be better off spending your money on. Um, uh, a graphics card like I said that may be slightly older or even used because it just doesn't deliver enough for the money in my eyes and it would definitely be better off putting it somewhere else so it's a bit of a confusing one but that's the way it is so I'm not going to be giving it an award either which again they're not going to be particularly pleased about um, but like I said it is a good card it is very very quiet in the right kind of you know area it would be acceptable but for our kind of use and for the you know the way we look at things with gaming and stuff like that I really just don't see the point um, so yeah I would honestly like I said if you if you're looking at something like this maybe buy some one of the older generation cars and just spend the same amount of money on one of those and you, in the long run you would be better off um, so yeah bit of a surprising one but I'm gonna end the review here keep it short and sweet because we've run through this one but for now, at least, this is Tiny Tom Logan with another video for you, sounding like somebody from the news, out.